hi everyone we'll be so starting shortly How to put all some things? How do you do that full screen? Yeah. Like, do you know how to? Yes. Full screen, you know? You will need this side. Uh, yeah. The address. Hi, um, we'll be starting now. Uh, so, hey folks, welcome to today's event, a talk hosted by Prathna. She's a 24-year-old queer content creator on YouTube and other social media platforms. The content she makes aims at offering a genuine perspective on queer and desi experiences along with suffusing a hearty amount of humor with the storytelling process. She's had the privilege of working with global companies such as BuzzFeed, Gracia, Lookup Life. She has also spoken at sessions by various colleges and organizations centered around LGBTQIA plus sensitization and education. She has recently started performing stand-up at queer events as well. Uh, today's session is organized by Vanam, an independent student body at IITM. Uh, Vanam is the queer support group at IIT Madras, which received official recognition as an independent student body in the summer of 2021. The primary objective of Vannam is to create a safe space for members of the LGBTQIA++ community and their allies. 
and it aims to facilitate conversations around the community and their allies on campus. Uh, also, we'll be uh, live streaming the event. So, uh, Prathma, you can start now. Okay, great. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, thank you all for being here on Friday evening. I'm sure you probably have better plans, but uh, for whatever reason, compulsion or otherwise, you've decided to sit in on a talk about uh, being queer in college, which I'm sure is maybe an experience that uh, some of you already had or heard of from you know friends and family and so on. But um, yeah, quick thing uh, before I get into the session, if any of you are uh, actually comfortable switching on your cameras, and uh, being a little more interactive in the session, I'd super appreciate it because otherwise I'm kind of just looking at my own face while I talk. And as much as I enjoy that, it isn't as fun as actually uh, interacting uh, with a group of people like you guys. And considering it's a pretty small group here today, I think it'd be really nice if you could make this uh, a little more interactive. So if any of you are, can switch on your cameras, I would super appreciate it. And uh, yeah, uh, whatever questions that you might have, I am very happy to answer them. So if you want to put it up in the chat box, I'll be really happy to uh, answer it. And it could be like any sort of question, no matter what uh, what it is, even if it's something maybe you think is a little too personal to ask another person or something that uh, you think you shouldn't ask another person or you never gotten a chance to maybe ask someone from the LGBTQI community that kind of a question. I am very happy to answer all of those questions, uh, especially because um, that's sort of the point of the content that I create. I do want it to be hyper personal because I think uh, I've had enough of just seeing about a mean page called Indian LGBT mean pages and this and that, you know, there's not really a, a face to a lot of these conversations a lot of the time. They happen in like a very generic and common kind of way so yeah none of you have switched on your camera so i'm going to very sadly talk to myself on this google meet call and feel super weird about it but um yeah so i tried to think of a way to really sum up what being queer in college is like because i had you know come out by the time that i joined college so i was you know gay in college and i went to like a pretty conservative uh, Christian college in Bangalore. I'm sure those are all the clues that anyone needs to sort of maybe guess which college it is if you've heard of. Should I? Someone raise their hand. Should I? Oh, the hello. I, I just switched on my camera. Oh, great. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, really appreciate it, Bhatta. Thank you. I'm Parth uh, from uh, HS22. Okay. And uh, I just joined this meeting because uh, I wanted to know more about uh, queer people. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm a straight adult. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. I just mute myself. Thank you. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I identify as a lesbian, and uh, I've been open about that identity since I was around 14 or 15 years old. So when I did join college, I was pretty open about that identity, and. Um, uh, considering that we have people here who also are allies and maybe are just sitting in on this to get a little more information, uh, please feel free to ask me any questions you have about anything at all. Even if you think that it's something that you never had the chance to ask before, please feel free to ask them in the chat box. I'll get to them at the end of uh, the session. And other than that, I'm just going to dive into the topic. And uh, yeah, so to really sum up what being queer in college is like, I made this very helpful uh, diagram. Uh, I was planning to make a PPT presentation, actually, but I thought this one little diagram helps a lot. So this is more or less what it's like to be queer in college. It's just kind of sad. And there's a lot of reasons why it's a bit of a sad experience. I think it's a very uniquely sad experience to be part of the LGBTQI community, be going to college and have all of that be happening in India. Uh, I think one of the reasons that it's sad is because, you know, you're young. So... A lot of the times when you do maybe come out to someone and, uh, you know, tell them that, hey, I think I might be bisexual, I think I might identify this way, the number one response a lot of the time that people get is, hey, you're too young to know. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, stigma about how, you know, it's probably just a phase and it's probably something that's going to pass. And, you know, it's not something that needs to be taken too seriously because, you know, you're really young. So you're still figuring these things out and you don't know any better. And... Uh, a lot of the times, you know, queer identities sort of dismissed this way, you know, saying that you're too young. 
So, you know, if you're in college, you end up being classified as a young person. And a lot of the times, the people around you, whether it's your friends or more importantly, whether it's your family, they sort of dismiss your identity by saying that you're too young to know. And also, you know, because you're a younger person, you might not have like the kind of physical and financial uh, resources to actually be very independent or, you know, have your identity be something that you can have full control over. You're still dependent on other people and guardians and stuff to ensure your 